So on this Dodge Ram, we have the AC compressor is engaging, but the inside is not getting cold. So I scanned the HVAC module and I ended up getting this B2199 battery voltage low. So we tested the main power going to the HVAC, which they had their powers and your grounds. So what I'd like to do is just let's talk about the schematic for a little bit. I want to explain how the system works. For one, you can see the clutch, which is a separate circuit from the solenoid. Now on the solenoid, there is a Hertz or duty cycle that goes into it. And this solenoid is what adjusts the Freon to get the Freon to go down to a lower pressure so it gets cold on the inside. So I want you to notice on the two things on this one is I want you to notice the compressor solenoid current and the duty cycle of the compressor. You can see that the compressor is at 100%, but your compressor solenoid doesn't have any current. So we need to start looking into this part of it. See on the right, I have the scope hooked up to that pin that goes to the solenoid. And you can see it's about 0.4 volts. Well, it needs to be 10 volts with the Hertz. So we need to check this circuit. So what I ended up doing is pulling the box out, the HVAC module, and taking it apart. And then as you see on the next diagram where the problem was, so you got to look for this burnt mark, and I have the arrows pointing to that burnt mark. So when you pull it apart, look at this burnt mark right there. Once you see that, just clean it up and then resolder and let's see what happens on our next pack. So this is way better. You can see that the pattern is a 14 volt pattern. Um, you can tell that now everything is working properly. What I'd like to show you though is how the duty cycle works on this one. So on the next scene, we're gonna be looking at the duty cycle along with the PIDs. At the duty cycle is at a 50 duty cycles. And look at your PIDs. Your PIDs are at 56 and now they're going down, but your duty cycle on the scope side is going to 40 as the compressor duty cycle is going up. Now, as the compressor duty cycle on the PCM goes to 60, you're going to see your amps on your compressor solenoid current change. So as the duty cycle on the, on the computer side, the amps change on the compressor solenoid. But on the scope side, your duty cycle decreases as your compressor solenoid duty cycle increases. But if you look at both of them, they equal to about 100%. Back to the schematic where we have the solenoid back probe. You can see the signal to the solenoid on that. If you have that signal, then that circuit is fine. And then most likely it's going to be the compressor. I really want to thank you for watching this video. Hey, we have our website up. Go to atrguide.com and give us a look.